But yeah, I hope everybody can see it. Everybody can hear me loud and clear. Uh, my name is Oliver Reisinger. I am the CEO of uh, SDMSE, which is um, Sicherheitsdienste in München. Um, I'm here to present our company today uh, in order to give you a little bit of insight. As I understand, we have 30 minutes. Well, that's not enough to tell you everything uh, about this company and about the market. So I you know, will run through a couple of slides faster and uh, go into more detail. I jump straight into page three. Uh, oops, if this works, yes. Um, obviously, we have all experienced in the past couple of years that the threat to people and values is increasing. And the respect for a personal space and uh, obviously valuables is decreasing. The security market is a booming market. It's uh, basically a multi-billion dollar uh, market in the world. Um, we in Germany, we have only one stock listed company, which is SDM, uh, our company. Obviously, the competition and the competitors in Germany are huge, like in you know, the rest of the world. Um, the market as such is a growth market, as I mentioned before. The demand for security services in, in public um, and also for companies has um, constantly increased over the last couple of years. And um, we want to take you know, a, a part in there. We want to be a part in this uh, increasing uh, market. Um, we see nowadays that not only you know, public buildings and, and factory sites are, um, are in desperate need for protection, but we also see that more and more private people uh, are seeking for protection of their homes, of their beloved ones. Uh, as I always like to say, you know, when you are in Munich and there is a, um, a, a school party, um, the city of Munich already demands now two to three security people in order to protect this. And uh, the industry itself has doubled uh, since 2010, up to around about nine to ten billion dollars. Um, and obviously, you know, um, this is a market where also a lot of competitors in the past have entered the market, and there is a lot of turmoil because smaller competitors are no longer able um, to withstand and to su uh, support all the uh, um, the needs that you have to, uh, to run a company like that. I tell you something about the group. I'm on page number five. Uh, SDMSE is one of the leading security providers in Germany. Uh, we have a big operating entity in the Munich metropolitan region. This is a, a word I like to say a lot. Um, we also have uh, we also cover the Cologne uh, metropolitan region, and we are in Lower Bavaria. So basically, we cover the south of Germany, uh, if you like, you know, from Cologne to Munich. Um, we are uh, in basically, we are active in basically every field of security. I come to this later. <clears throat> and SDMSE, the company I'm talking today, is more or less the holding company of three operational subsidiaries. Um, the company SDM, the mother company, not the SE, uh, the KG was founded in 1999. And the SDMSE, I'm sorry, can I just jump one second? Yeah. I'm sorry, this is very unprofessional, but we have a small dog at home. It's a Doberman, it's a protection dog, so it fits to the topic. I do apologize. Um, we IPO'd out the SDMSE in 2021. Currently, we have around about 700 employees in the group. This largely, um, you know, this can defer. Uh, within, I would say, a couple of weeks, we in the top uh, had around about 800 people, 700, 750 is more or less the baseline. In 2023, we started with our buy and build uh, strategy, um, combined SDM with two uh, other companies. One is EVSM and the other one is RSD. Um, we, are, we see uh, clear synergy effects uh, at the moment already more to come. Uh, we are now operational, turning this company into uh, EVSM, the bigger company that you acquired, turning this company into the same um, procedures and um, trying to adopt the, the same procedures that we have with the SDM. Um, sales went up from around about 17 million to um, the number, oops, sorry, 
to uh, over 35, 40 million. We are not, and uh, you know, I have been an investment banker myself. We are not looking at uh, increasing sales for you know, by any means. We could increase sales easily, but this would definitely then have an impact on our margin. We are more margin driven. We are cash flow driven. We would we are not looking to uh, you know target fifty million. I know that in the stock markets, a lot of uh, investors say, "Yeah, well, they are not growing uh, big enough." We don't want that. We want to grow, but we want to grow with the margins that uh, we would like to have. Um, sorry, I jumped the pages. So I would like to jump on page number six now. Um, what's our portfolio? When you talk about security, most of the people think, "Ah, oh, well, there is you know uh, ACDC uh, gig uh, in Munich." Um, there are 400 security guys. Oh, there is uh, Helene Fischer that we have in Germany here. Um, that is not our core business. Our core business is clearly plant and property protection. Our business is a 24-7 business where we can plan ahead for weeks and months. We have fixed sites where we have people deployed people that are there for, as I said, 24 hours, seven days a week, uh, night, day, where we can plan. And we have a schedule for our people that we know how many people we know in advance. This planning gives us the room to do other things out of the necessity of a lot of people to have to, to you know, to, to, to wish to, to work more, to have over hours. We then use these over hours in order to fulfill other tasks. We also do, of course, cash transit. We do locking services. We are security at trade fairs, at the Oktoberfest. Um, we are security uh, for FC Bayern, for example. But our core business, our main business, where we have all the people uh, at work is plant and property protection. Um, for us, as I mentioned before, this also offers cross potential out of the sites we have, out of the objects we protect. There's sometimes or often the need to say, okay, we also need um, security protection. We also need uh, you to take care of uh, um, uh, cash transit. Um, we then do it, but on top of the existing um, property or existing site that we have because this gives us the opportunity to use our workforce effectively and bring them into the hours that they want to have. The focus is, again, is on this page, is on our margin. We are trying desperately, and this is very difficult uh, to increase the margin, and we would be willing to give up turnover in, in order to increase our margin. Um, on page number seven, I would like to run you through the, the key figures 24, and I discovered a, a, a mistake, obviously. Um, equity ratio, uh, 49%. Dividend was 10 cents. Um, revenue protection is around about 35 um, million in 2024. Maybe we go up to 38. Uh, I'm not promising this. It always depends on the margin. Our projection for EBITDA is around about 1.5 million euros. A bit protection is around about 700,000. Um, as I mentioned before, headcount is you know, somewhat um, moving up and down. We are counting around 700, 750 at the moment. We offer attractive dividend. Uh, we will carry on with our buy and build strategy. Again, here, we will not force ourselves into, we have to buy somebody. We have to buy. The market expects us to buy somebody. No. We are looking at eight companies, and for some of them, we're looking uh, already for one and a half to two years to, uh, on them. We discuss it with them. We want to buy the right company that suits SDM. We want to buy the company at the right price. And due to the fact that a lot of private equity is um, um, absent in the market at the moment, not existing, we are very confident that we can argue uh, prices down. Um, we have a sound balance sheet. And what is also important, we try to work um, or we try to organize ourselves that we will not use um, other companies that work for us, so-called um, uh, subcontractors, um, because this increases our margin. This is, by the way, one of the, uh, the factors that we have seen with the company we acquired in Köln, EVSM. 
Um, there we had a higher potential of subcontractors. We reduced that, um, which also led to an in a decrease in, in, in volume of, of sales. But we are building up slowly and with the quality needs and demands that we uh, want to see for our staff, more own staff than uh, subcontractors. On page eight, um, now the companies that I mentioned already, um, what are what is the SDM group? Or which are the companies that are under the umbrella of SDM? Um, first of all, <clears throat> the well, the first company, more or less, we always call it uh, the mother company, um, SDM Sicherheitsdienst in München. Um, it was taken over in 2019. It's based in Munich. Um, it's um, in the market for uh, over 20 years has a very, very sound reputation, is more or less, as we say, house and hof anbieter of the city of Munich um, and uh, for a lot of you know, municipalities around there. 80% of the business is, um, in, uh, is with the city of Munich or with the free state of Bavaria. Um, 80%, uh, you know, I know the comment will be, oh, well, you have cluster risk. Well, 80% with a AAA counterpart that pays his bills after 30 days for sure. And uh, it's also not one client, the city or the, uh, the free state of Bavaria. It's also more or less 14 different uh, departments that we deal with within the city. Uh, in the middle, you see uh, EVSM, Industrie und Werkschutz Mund. We've taken it over in 2023. It's uh, close to Cologne. Um, it had um, a dramatic increase in sales due to one very big um, job they had to do for a big German utility company, which was uh, the job alone was more than 10 million. Um, what, what we like about the company or why we have uh, chosen it as our first big target is that they are able to scale up uh, staff. We have seen that when they did this big job for this utility company, um, they uh, have uh, they had a, a site that was protected for a, a period of time for with more than two thousand people, so they are able to scale up. And we analyzed that if we reduce subcontractor and maybe we'll be able to consolidate more companies in the Cologne area and region, that we will uh, not be there is no need for. Um, more office capacity. There is mo no no need for more administration. We can easily um, link this together to the IBSM platform, which is uh, capable of, as I said before, capable of uh, managing more than two thousand people. So this is you know what we um, what we think and uh, where we put our hands and our effort at the moment in order to make this happen. Um, the focus of IBSM, IBSM uh, is completely different. It's more than 80% uh, corporates. <clears throat> they work in, in a region where there is a high density of, of um, DAX companies, big uh, corporates, international corporates. And there is also a synergy that we see at the moment, which is rather slow, I have to say, but this is not um, uh, on us. It is because of the clients. At SDM in Munich, we have municipality clients, EVSM in Cologne has to learn how to deal with them. We in Munich, we have to learn how to deal with corporate clients better. So there is synergies that we are exploring at the moment. As I said, the rather slow process um, because you can't just walk to a client and say, hey, we are the new guys. Uh, there are contracts that run for years. You have to um, go into uh, very detailed um, um, planning and, and so what have you. And last but not least, on the far right side, you see Rotala Sicherheitsdienste, a rather small company. We started with 20 employees. Now we are up to 25, um, building up dramatically. Um, turnover was more than a million. When we took it over, it was around about 400, 500, 600,000. Uh, one of the best do dog squadrons in Germany. I know this is, you know, uh, not being in the industry, this doesn't mean a lot. Um, um, they have, um, we all have weapons carrier in RSD, so they are a little bit like um, um, a highly qualified team, uh, very tiny. What is the synergy there? Well, Rotak is one and a half hours away from Munich. We often use them uh, if we have uh, special needs for, for example, Dog Squadron, um, and we need or we need support for FC Bayern or other companies. So there are synergies already. In that region, there is hardly any competition. 
the big companies have more or less uh, withdrawn out of the area. So we are ready to grow there again steadily with the margins that we want to have, but uh, it is looking very, very good. We're very proud of our Autolacy heads these days. Um, I'm happy to jump on page number nine. Um, beginning of the year, uh, it was obvious and also um, a wish of the uh, supervisory board that we will um, broaden our expertise. We will get another specialist on board. Um, the work, of, uh, the work uh, is burden is a lot. Um, so we have decided to bring Peter Bewald on board. He's also listening and he's also willing to support me if there are any questions on numbers or, or further outlook. Um, thank you very much, Peter, for joining us. Um, below there is our supervisory board. Um, also, as I reckon, uh, highly qualified. Um, the management of the different companies is always a person that is in the company for a long, long time. Christian Staud at SDM is with the company for 20 years. Arne Brun of EBSM is, I think, 15 years in the company. And uh, Rudolf Gubisch of RSD is actually the founder of the company 20 years ago. We always try to keep staff on board. We don't want to lose um, um, connections. We don't want to lose the contact to the clients. We're always happy to have uh, in any takeover situation, more or less um, the, the old um, spirit of the company um, that will be then supported and enhanced. One word, I don't know how we are in time, one word, you will see that all the, um, the logos of the different companies are all in, as we call it, SDM Orange. Um, the companies keep their name. The companies have a very, very strong um, footprint in the region and in the area, not only with clients, but also in the general public. If you go, uh, if you visit Bad Grispa, for example, where there are eight golf courses, there is a, a tremendous uh, a, a, a golf community. There are highly qualified uh, um, um, golf cups every year. Uh, they call it not Rotala Sicherheitsdienste, they call it Rudis Sicherheitsdienste because of Rudi Gu uh, Rudolf Gubisch. So there is a strong footprint and we are not willing to give this up. I have been in the capital markets for a long time. I have uh, myself experienced three mergers and I believe, I strongly believe that you will damage and uh, deconstruct a lot of value in any turnover, in any uh, takeover situation if you delete something like this. This is important for the people who work there. They identify themselves, but it's also important for the client not in order to you know, change something that uh, was working very well for some years. Uh, for presentation purposes, ob obviously it's all uh, SDM Orange. Um, and also uh, if we uh, apply for you know, um, cars, uh, synergies on, 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 the, uh, on the corporate level, we also use obviously the SDM SD brand. Right, um, on page number 10, um, I think actually this should uh, should be a page for Peter Bewald. I'm not quite sure whether we can take him on board. If not, then I will run through it. Um, sales in um, first half year 2014 are lower than we have expected. It's around about uh, six and a half million or 16.1 million. Um, personal expenses, which are you know our biggest. Uh, expense or part of the balance uh, expense of the balance sheet that we have around 12 million subcontractors you can um, compare it to the years before we have reduced already but we are still working on uh, reducing that in order to uh, further enhance our margin uh, other operational expenses are 1.1 uh, which leaves us with the EBITDA of 712,000 um, interest obviously we have partly financed the EBSM takeover um, that's why interest uh, for the first time in company history went up. We have depreciation and tax, which leaves us in the first year with a, a net profit of 264,000, which is obviously uh, um, uh, less than we expected. But again, if you have um, seen any takeover situation, if you have been in the situation that you have to um, you know, bring companies together, there are more costs and there are obviously um, there's more downfall. Um, we are happy to put this all in the first year and very, very confident that already in, um, in the second half, uh, numbers will pick up. 
but also strongly in 2025. Again, I myself have worked in the capital uh, markets and I know that people want to see there's a takeover, there's a, you know, now uh, two and two is four and maybe five or six or seven. Yes, it will be. But it's, I've not seen any takeover where two and two is four or five or six in the first year. Our in, uh, focus, obviously, in 2024 is the integration of IBSM and RSC. Uh, we are um, at the moment working hard to uh, harmonize all systems that we have, all the, um, the cost bases, and work on econ uh, economies of scale. Um, again, positive effects uh, are expected in the last quarter of 2024, strongly in 25. Um, and again, obviously, you know, I said before, we are not working to increase sales for the, for the sake of increasing sales. We are working on increasing sales plus our margin, which then enhances the earnings. We are very, very much cash flow driven. We want to enhance our cash flow and not the sales. Good. On page number 11, uh, what is our strategic approach for our buy and build uh, uh, strategy? Well, obviously, we're looking at organic growth uh, and rising margins. Again, organic growth, uh, if you look at the market, uh, people can say, well, the market grows at 10%. You have not grown at 10%. Yeah, we know. But at some aspects, the market will grow at 10%, but not making money. We're not doing that. Besides the organic growth, we will focus on further acquisitions. I have mentioned before that we are in discussions with seven, eight companies. Uh, we will in maybe 2024 even, uh, but in 2025 uh, acquire a new company, if not two new companies. Again, I don't want to be heard or quoted that, oh, they want to acquire two companies in 2025. We will only do that if the price is okay. We are not risking uh, uh, um, to, to buy a company for the sake of buying a company, it needs to be the good, uh, at a good price. Um, buy and build leads to accelerated growth. Uh, as you can see, we come from in 1922 from 16.8, now we're at 35. I think that's a pretty decent story. I think these are pretty decent numbers. Um, we are obviously one of the few companies in that market that are consolidating in that market. There are, it's a very fragmented market with over I think four and a half or, or even 5,000 companies. Most companies are in the region of 20 to 40 people. In the future, they will not be able um, to supply all the you know, regulations and comply with regulations that are, since 2015, tremendously bigger than it was before. And those companies are seeking for cover. Again, interestingly enough, 60% of those companies are... Um, uh, in the hand of the owners that are over 55 to 60 years old. So it's also a topic where a lot of people who have made their life uh, building a company want to give the, the company into new hands, into firm hands. And we have a very solid and very, um, I would say, uh, antique understanding of how these people want to see their, their uh, company in the future. Um, mentioned before, shortlist is in place. Um, we are constantly discussing uh, with those companies, um, some are very upset because uh, the price differential between what they want to have and what we are willing to pay is tremendous. Price pressure and time is on our side. And I reckon, you know, as I said, um, maybe in 2024, maybe I'm too optimistic about it, but in 2025, we will see the, our next takeover. Jumping on number 12, what is the summary of our beautiful company? Well, we are active in an industry with um, sustainable growth prospects, not only because of organic growth, but also of um, having the opportunity to work in a, a highly fragmented market where people like us, because we have proven that we are the good ones. If we take over somebody, we will not you know, finish uh, the history. We will carry on the history. We, will, we, we see the history of those companies as an integral part of SDN. We are well positioned in, in two major uh, German metropolitan regions. Why do I always mention metropolitan region? For example, it's very, very interesting. In Munich, in the whole metropolitan region, we only use um, public transport to bring our people uh, to, their, um, to their sites and to their objects. Um, so the further, the bigger the metropolitan region, the more secure it is for us to work our people in time um, at their uh, locations. 
in 2023, as I mentioned before, we have started our buy and build strategy. So far, it's working well. Obviously, the market always expects uh, things to happen yesterday. This, will, this is not the case. We are a highly, um, we are a business where we have to deal with people. Um, our workforce is more or less our most important capital. We don't have heavy machinery. We don't have, you know, uh, um, real estate. This, our workforce is important. And our workforce, we have to keep on board because this is our asset. Um, we have further plans um, for acquisitions in order to accelerate our growth. Um, it needs to fit. And, you know, the last sentence it needs to fit in terms of price, obviously. Um, well, on the next page, you can see our share capital. Our share price has suffered a lot uh, since the beginning of the years. There are several reasons for that. Um, we have research from two different companies that you can, um, I think, GBC is happy to, to share it. Um, we are listed at every major stock exchange. We are listed at Xetra. Um, and basically, and there is the other mistake I just mentioned. We have moved our offices. We are not in Traubinger Straße 1 anymore, but we are still in Munich. Um, mm -hmm. That's, I think, it. Um, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Excellent timing. Um, we just have two minutes left, so I don't think we have enough time for all the questions, but uh, for a few. So um, the first one is, what is the average duration of a customer contract and uh, what is your renewal rate? <laughs> okay. Um, you have to understand, <clears throat> in most cases, this is a, um, in order to get um, a new customer on board, in most cases, it's what we call Ausschreibung, which is um, 100 to 180 pages. In most cases, those contracts with the city um, or with municipalities are in between one to five years with the ability to prolong the, um, the contract. In most cases, uh, we, have one, we have one contract, for example, that was initially three years. We are in the object now for 15 years. Why is that? If you do a good job, if you work uh, uh, on a high quality level with the client, and this is also for municipality and corporate clients, the client will not change the provider. In order, for example, with the big German utility in Cologne, we are since 20 years um, on their premises. In order to make sure that the contract will be prolonged, you have to make a good job. If you run there, if one of your security guys runs around naked and uh, jumps around and makes a fuss, you will lose the contract. Whether the contract is three years or 15 years, you will lose the contract the next day. So it doesn't matter what's on the paper because if you have a contract um, for three years and this will be prolonged for 10 years, um, on the other hand, if you have a 10-year contract and your people will not deliver the quality, you will lose the contract immediately. In average, the contracts are three to five years. 